Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US 30 there, we did have a rally late into uh, Friday, closing at the top end of the range, but we've had a little bit of a reversal uh, this morning, a failure to break through potential resistance of 17,546. Uh, and this candle is, we were much higher at the start of, of trading. We've come down a little bit. Matter of fact, the US market is underperforming the Germany 30 and the UK 100 that are both just ticking up there uh, that little bit as well. But um, just to first start the session, it is uh, Martin Luther King Day in the US, so I'm expecting quite thin trading in, in America uh, and most of uh, Europe taking the center stage this morning. So looking at the UK 100, you can see this really strong uh, bullish engulfing pattern right here, stopping bang on potential resistance again at 65.89. This does seem to be a significant level. You can see multiple points there where it's touched and either broken through or touched and bounced off it there. And uh, Friday was no exception. That also coincides with the 55 period SMA. The other technicals are quite neutral. It really needs to get a break and close above 65.89 if it's gonna break that little bit higher. Um, but we are getting closer to the ECB uh, rate decision on the 22nd. Uh, which is obviously the whole whole reason for the potential SMB move on the Swiss franc there last week. Um, so many commentators are pretty much thinking it's a done deal. If it doesn't happen, euro dollar is going to be very interesting to have a look at. But we'll check that chart out in a second. So looking at Japan 225, um, we have seen a stabilization in dollar yen around about 117. Um, so most other markets have uh, had a decent. Uh, Friday there you can see Japan 225 also dead drifting a little bit lower this morning I think you can almost get away with drawing a trend line in here now and let's see how long that remains uh, in play because obviously that, that seems to be in place since the end of December uh, and we'll see if that is going to be a descending triangle formation usually a continuation pattern so if, the, if that holds true the bias would be for a break below 16.392 should weakness in the equity markets come back in so actually looking at uh, dollar yen, um, we're back above uh, 117 spot 36 cap by the 55 period SMA. The MACD just crossed the zero line, whereas most other technical indicators relatively neutral. So um, the pressure would still remain on dollar yen. So if we do see further weakness in equities and people have a flight to safety to uh, get the Japanese yen, that could open up and move down to 114 spot 74. And the movements that we've seen in gold over the uh, over Friday as well is indicative of the fact that uh, traders should be quite quick to jump into safe havens on any um, sell-off in equities. So let's see what happens in the next couple of days. Obviously, we'll be quite quiet today because of the U.S. holidays, um, and there's not a huge amount of macro data out today. If you fast forward on to tomorrow, you do have um, German PPI and then German ZEW business report uh, at at ten, and then Wednesday um, we do have an unemployment claims. And then Thursday, which is the 22nd, you've got the ECB um, decision on quantitative easing. There's so much data on uh, on Thursday that promises to be a big day. And then on the 25th, you've got the Greek elections. And uh, obviously, uh, we are looking at certain parties over there, uh, specifically the anti bailout Shriza, um party, which will be quite keenly watched by traders of euro dollar. So there's a lot of stuff coming later on in the week. So moving on to um, crude oil West Texas. Uh, not really doing a huge amount. Uh, following this candle, it's quite surprising to see that uh, crude oil managed to eke out an almost 5% gain uh, on Friday, which is quite impressive. Um, but it's drifting a little bit lower again this morning. It does potentially feel that we are making a little bit more of a um, kind of floor here on crude oil. Um, let's just split the difference, say around about 46 to $48. Um, we have been bouncing around there the last couple of days. You can just see the tip of this candle here. We've been, uh, let's just say it's $47, okay? Um, we This could be an interesting pivot area, depending on your viewpoint on West Texas. For as long as uh, it doesn't break below there, we are seeing some significant interesting moves. The longer term potential resistance still remains at $35, um, but 47 feels like a very interesting number um, to keep an eye on. So looking at gold, which has just had a crazy couple of days following all this uncertainty, and um, obviously uh, you know, there are a lot of people over in Switzerland probably buying lots of gold to, to hedge against their appreciating currency. Um, we've now broken 1273. Um, that now could be a springboard, a launch pad for tackling levels higher up. And we actually have to go a fair bit higher now. Um, we're looking almost at $1,300, so 1296 the next potential resistance level on um, on gold. Uh, I would be tempted to actually clean up this chart and remove some of these levels, but they're all quite key levels to, to be aware of. So 
any retracement down to 1273 uh, could be an interesting scoring board to chat to tackle 1296 any book and close below that opens up a move towards 1254 uh, technicals are all overbought that's not surprising but not yet giving a signal to sell so no negative crossover no early signal of reversal as of yet so strength still remains so euro dollar came off the lows from friday um, longer term potential support at one spot zero seven eight six. I've actually gone all the way in, and marked all these levels down. I had to go into my monthly yeah, charts to identify these levels. Uh, this would be close to parity, this would be below parity right here, uh, and that levels from quite some time ago. So we're still at eleven year lows on euro dollar. Um, any move up to one spot sixteen forty two could be a retracing move uh, or a retracement where people might look to take short positions around about here. Uh, targeting lower value or if you're more bullish on your dollar um, 118.72 could be the next potential resistance but I can't imagine your dollar doing too much before the 22nd of Jan where anything is possible dependent on one will they do QE and two how much QE will they do and then finishing up with GBP USD uh, wrong side of one spot to 185 target one spot 48.13 um, all depends on the next macro data from the UK and the US and as I said there's not a huge amount out till Thursday um, so that's not really that interesting today I think your dollar is quite quite cool uh, gold is always interesting to have a have a look at and obviously some of the equity markets are cool too so having a look at the uh, chart forum as ever if you're looking for technical trade setups for our global, global analyst team make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next